Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with installing VMware vSphere 6.0 client, adding ASXIA host records in DNS, reviewing VMware environment. So this is my ASXI host, this is my first ASXI1 server with IP address 192.168.1.19. This is my second ESXi2 host, which will be used in this environment with IP address 192.168.1.20. I am going to log into my domain. The domain is dev.com. We have already Active Directory available now, and also we have a member server. So as you can see, my Active Directory with IP address of this server is 192.168.1.113. Now you can see my vCenter1. I don't have vCenter installed yet, but this is the environment I am preparing where we can install all prerequisites for the vCenter server. So here are some links. SQL client also is part of prerequisites. I am installing here very uh, quickly uh, SQL uh, client. You simply can go download the client. If you don't have it, I do have a Dropbox link uh, where you can go and get it and install it. Very simple, straightforward. We also need to have a .NET Framework 4.5 installed on our vCenter server. So that is a feature. So I do have already installed offline. You can see that we do have these uh, two prerequisites. I have a single a hard drive on uh, my this Windows server. I am keeping these tools in my hard drive here. I made a new folder where I installed, where I have downloaded actually my vSphere 6.0 client. Let's go and install directly. So you simply have to download this tool. Again, if you don't have it, I will share a Dropbox. I don't have it right now, but I am planning to create a Dropbox link for my viewers. In real life, you will see that this installation may take a little while, but I uh, fast forwarded actually this my video. You can choose a customized location or you can install at a default location vSphere client. So I'm not going to browse, play and uh, work with the vSphere client, just the installation. Uh, I want to show you the setup, the environment, what I have, two ESXi servers, one vSphere where I'm going to install vCenter and also vSphere client, also a web client. Then you have a dev.com domain at the other end. So this is the environment what you have. Now you supposed to go to desktop. By default you have this icon available. You click on this icon. You can log in using your root account. What we installed actually, what we used uh, in at installation time of ESXi servers. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip this right now because we need to have a DNS records in our DNS server. So 1.19 and 1.20, these two records I supposed to have available in my DNS because uh, ESXi servers are not domain members uh, at this time. So I am going to join these two ESXi servers to the domain. But first I am going to in, uh, add a host record in my uh, dev.com DNS. So simply you have to right click anywhere once you select your forward lookup zone choose new a host record my first server name is esxi1 with ip 192.168.1.19 click on add host okay done this one is done now before I click on done, I'm adding a second ESXi2 host. 192.168.1.20 is the IP address. 
now at this time you can click on ok and done because that's that's all we wanted actually to have it now you can verify the connectivity by going into the command line and try to ping these two hosts one by one we should get a reply very good and the second host and we got the reply that's mean uh, we did whatever we wanted to do in this video in this brief and short video i will come back in my uh, next video where i am going to start preparing for installation of vcenter thank you for watching i will see you in my next video bye